Hello. Oh, I almost spilled my tea. Hello, everybody. Welcome to day 54 of my carnivore diet. Good day today. Uh, lots of good things to report. So let's start off with got to the gym today, did half an hour run on the treadmill and didn't have any knee pain at all, which is amazing. I'm so happy about that. I finally was recovered from the run, the outdoor run on Sunday enough to give it a go and really try and test it out and see how it went. And um, it was really slow. And I feel like I'm almost starting over from scratch. So I was quite fatigued and tired. So I don't know if some of that's just from being on the diet. And it, it's not the same. Running on a, on a no-carb diet is not the same as running with carbs. It just isn't. I know my body's using fat and it's burning fat and all that stuff, but it's it's harder. It really is. At least it is for me. And um, anyway, so I struggled through it and I didn't get 5K. I just decided to do half an hour. It would have taken me about 40 minutes probably to do to do 5K. But I just thought I don't want to push it. I just want to sort of break myself in. So I need to run a few times to get myself back into shape, but it shouldn't take me too long. And then I can start to work on increasing the speed and, and set some goals. So I have a, I have a set of goals that I kind of use when I start running to get myself in shape. So I'll start those up again. But so I was totally, totally happy about that. Did another half an hour on the exercise bike. So I got in an hour of cardio today and I was, I mean, I know I said yesterday was my strictest day yet, but I was basically lion diet today. I woke up this morning, I was actually hungry because, I mean, I only had 1,300 calories yesterday, which was is nothing. And um, I wasn't surprised that I woke up starving, like properly hungry. My stomach was growling. And I had to do the school run, but I just thought, I'm just going to grab some some mints and just make some burger patties or whatever to have those before I left. And I couldn't, I couldn't be bothered to kind of section it and what I, I just took the whole watch that was in there and just cooked it up into a couple of patties and just ate them really quick. So that got me off to a really good start. And then I had a peppermint tea first thing this morning that I drank about half of and just didn't, the, the taste wasn't actually very good. And so I just switched on to water and drank water all day. I had some more, um, I had more meat at lunchtime and a piece of cheese, like cheddar cheese, um, not that shitty American, pro sorry, not that processed fake cheese stuff, like actual cheese. Um, so that was okay. And then this evening I had two, I had a couple of thin steaks and I had some more cheese and I did have a couple of peanuts, but other than that, didn't have any bad drinks, no coffees, no teas, no nothing but water all day. Um, so anyway, yeah, I felt pretty good. And I am slowly weaning myself off the coffee and tea. Uh, I do have a warm glass at the minute because it's still freezing. And this is the next thing that I want to talk about. So um, anyway, mm, macros today. So I did weight went down a little bit yesterday, had basically, basically the same. Um, so other than today, I had nearly 15,000 steps because I went to the gym and I had like 2000 calories. So more calories today as well. But in all of that, I still had less than 20 grams of carbs. So, and which is really good and nearly 200 grams of protein. So yeah. Today was a day um, probably that I should have every day. Um, so we'll see if I can continue that. My, my wife got loads of really good stuff um, for me at the grocery store um, when she went yesterday. So I've got some really nice steaks in there. I've got some other stuff. I'll probably have some eggs tomorrow in the morning as a family with some sausage, which will be really nice. And I'll cook the sausage first and then I'll fry the eggs in the in the in the grease from the sausage. So that'll be nice. And yeah, so we'll see how I get on. I'm going to try and get to the gym more. I know I've said that. Anybody who's listened, I'm sorry. I know I say that all the time, but I have been super frustrated with the fact that I couldn't do my normal routine 
but now it seems like I I can get back to that. I'm going to be very, very careful for the first probably couple of weeks. Just I don't want to push it too hard and re-injure myself because then I'm out for another three months. And I really don't want that. So I'm going to take it steadily, but I am excited to be able to to run again, um, which I would have, if you'd asked me five years ago, if, if those words would ever come out of my mouth, they wouldn't. Um. So the other thing I wanted to talk about today, and I know I, I know, I know, I still have the film, the vegan propaganda film that I want to talk about, uh, but I'm just not, I don't, I, I haven't done the prep that I wanted to do to think about it. So I've got to get my thoughts together. So hopefully tomorrow I'll have some time to do that Um. now that it's the weekend. So hang tight, I will get to it. But the other thing I wanted to talk about is I'm cold all the time now. And... <laughs> As, and I remember this from the last time that I sort of lost a bit of weight. And I'm I'm not where I was before, but I'm still noticing it quite a lot. And I'm freezing most of the time now. I'm so cold. And it's not, I mean, it's in the four, 30s, 40s during the day here. And so it's cold, but it's not, I've never been like freezing cold. And I mean, I've even got hair to keep me warm. It, you know, when I'm outside or whatever, I can put it down and it actually, you know, helps to keep me warm. But even that doesn't really help. And I don't know if that's something that other people have experienced that maybe if you've had more weight and then you lose the weight and you've got less fat and whatever, do you feel colder? I don't know. Is that a thing? I don't know if it is or not. I don't know if it's just me. Is it psychosomatic? But I don't know. I kind of felt like a polar bear before, and now I don't. And maybe that goes back to the psychology stuff that I was talking about and body image and all the other stuff. But, you know, even when I'm sitting downstairs, if we're watching TV or something, I'm just literally, I'm just cold all the time. And I don't know why. So if that's some weird side effect of the diet and people know what that is and they go, oh, yeah, you know, you got to eat more potassium because you tend to be cold. I have no idea. Again, just a normal dude trying to do the diet and talking to people about it. So let me know in the comments if if that's a thing. Um, and otherwise, yeah, feeling really good. I am a little bit tired, which is nice, but not as much as I actually expected to be. I'm, I'm, I'm not knackered. So I think that's a, even though the running itself is more difficult, I think the energy that I get from the diet and the the food that I had when I came home and all that stuff, I think that that's enabling me to not feel exhausted. Because I remember I used to feel absolutely exhausted when I got home from the gym and I'd just fall asleep in the chair at like 10 o'clock and it's quarter past 11 already and I'm wide awake. So again, I think that's due to the diet, which is really good. So yeah. Anyway, we will see. I think I might alternate. Sorry, I know this has been a really gym heavy one, but that's kind of the news for today. I think I might try and alternate a weight training day with a cardio day. And then that will that will make sure that I get in and do the weight training that I need to do. And it will also mean that I'll be able to get my cardio in that I want to do as well. So if I alternate those, then it's I'm not running every single day or I'm not doing cardio every single day. And it means I can space the weights out a little bit more because it does take me longer to recover than it used to. And which I've talked about already. And so, yeah, we'll just test it and see how it goes. I've got the weekend so I can I can go both days on the weekend and I am around next week, most of the week as well. So I should be able to go also. So anyway, there we go. Feeling happy, feeling good on the diet. Almost lion diet, but not quite, but almost. And um, yeah, so we're just going to try and stick and stay really strict because I want to see what happens, basically. So there we go. That's me. It's Friday night. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Go out. Don't cheat on your diet or do cheat if you want to. It's totally up to you. Do what you want. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.